Welcome to Tornado Extreme, your go-to channel for everything tornado and extreme weather related. We're here to stir up your curiosity and blow your mind with fascinating insights into the wild world of weather. From the science behind these awe-inspiring phenomena to the impact they have on our planet, we're your one-stop shop for all things tornado and beyond. So brace yourselves, weather enthusiasts, because in today's video, we're diving into the world of tornadoes and twisters, unraveling their mysteries and answering the question, is there a difference? First things first, what exactly is a twister or a tornado? Well, a tornado, also commonly known as a twister, is a rapidly rotating column of air that is in contact with both the surface of the Earth and a cumulonimbus cloud, or in rare cases, the base of a cumulus cloud. The strongest tornadoes can produce destructive winds of over 200 miles per hour. That's faster than any high-speed train. These powerful winds occur when warm, moist air meets cool, dry air, causing an updraft. This updraft starts to rotate if winds at different heights blow at different speeds, creating a vertical cylinder of rotating air. Tornadoes are nature's most violent storms and can cause fatalities and devastate neighborhoods in seconds. They can appear suddenly and without warning, often accompanied by a funnel-shaped cloud that causes the most damage. Tornadoes have a few other names depending on their shape and behavior. Let's take a look at some of them. Tornadoes come in various shapes and sizes, each with its own unique name. For instance, the rope tornado, aptly named due to its slender and long shape, like a rope dangling from the sky. These tornadoes may seem less intimidating due to their smaller size, but don't be fooled, they can pack quite a punch. Then there's the cone tornado, which, as the name suggests, resembles an upside-down cone. With a base wider than the top, these tornadoes are a common sight and are known for their destructive power. Now let's move on to the wedge tornado. These are the monsters of the tornado world. With a width that's often larger than their height, they appear as giant wedges plowing through everything in their path. They are the most destructive and deadly of all tornado types. Next up, we have the multi-vortex and satellite tornadoes. These are not one, but multiple tornadoes spinning around a common center, creating a mesmerizing yet terrifying dance of nature's raw power. Lastly, we have land spouts and water spouts. Land spouts are tornadoes that form over land while water spouts form over bodies of water. These are typically weaker than their counterparts but can still cause significant damage. While these are all types of tornadoes, there are other storms that often get confused with them. Not every swirling, destructive storm is a tornado. Even though they might seem similar at first glance, there's a world of difference between these weather phenomena. Consider gust nados, for instance. These are short-lived, ground-based swirling winds that can kick up dust and debris, but they lack the supercell thunderstorm typically associated with tornadoes. They're more like the rowdy cousins of tornadoes, not quite as destructive, but still causing a ruckus. Then we have dust devils. Don't let the playful name fool you. These mini whirlwinds, born on hot, sunny days when the ground heats up rapidly, can whip up dust and loose objects but they're generally less dangerous than their more infamous counterparts. Lastly, let's talk about downbursts. These are powerful, downward-directed winds that can cause damage similar to that of a tornado. However, they originate from a rapidly descending column of air rather than a rotating updraft. Having cleared that up, let's finally answer the big question, tornado or twister? Tornado or twister, is there a difference? This is a question that has sparked many debates among weather enthusiasts and experts. Often these two terms are used interchangeably, but is that correct? Let's dive into it. The term tornado is derived from the Spanish word tronita, which means thunderstorm. It was later modified to tornado, referring to the rotating column of air that we associate with the term today. Tornadoes are characterized by their destructive nature and their ability to form under specific atmospheric conditions, primarily during severe thunderstorms. On the other hand, twister is a colloquial term used predominantly in the United States to refer to a tornado. The term twister came into use due to the twisting motion of the wind during a tornado. It's a more informal term, often used in popular media and literature to add a dramatic effect. So, is there a difference? Technically speaking, no. Both terms refer to the same weather phenomenon. 
a violently rotating column of air in contact with both the surface of the Earth and a cumulonimbus cloud. The difference lies purely in the terminology and is more related to regional language usage than meteorological distinction. However, it's important to remember that both tornadoes and twisters, whatever you choose to call them, are incredibly powerful and potentially deadly weather events. Always take safety precautions when severe weather is forecasted. So there you have it, the truth about tornadoes and twisters. We've had a whirlwind of a time today talking about tornadoes and twisters. We've learned that, contrary to popular belief, these terms are actually interchangeable, both referring to a violently rotating column of air in contact with the ground and coming from a thunderstorm. We discovered the various other names for these incredible phenomena, each one describing a particular shape or form like the slender rope tornado, the wide and powerful wedge tornado, or the intriguing multi-vortex and satellite tornadoes. Not to mention land spouts and water spouts, they're less intense cousins that form over land and water respectively. We also discussed some storms that can be easily confused with twisters and tornadoes, such as gust nados and dust devils. These weather events, while fascinating in their own right, lack the key characteristic of a tornado, which is the connection to a cloud base. In essence, whether we call it a twister or a tornado, the important thing is to recognize the power and potential danger these weather events represent. They are a testament to the incredible forces of nature, beautiful yet terrifying, and always to be respected. Thank you for joining us on this atmospheric journey. With each video, we aim to deepen our understanding of these extreme weather phenomena, helping us all to be better prepared and more knowledgeable. Thank you for watching Tornado Extreme. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website tornadoextreme.com for more fascinating weather phenomena. And remember, when it comes to tornadoes, stay safe and stay informed.